Hey guys, so as I made videos about Pokemon and the increase in Pokemon prices, as we know, Logan Paul actually hired a person called Guru, and Logan Paul bought his Pokemon first edition booster box from a auction house, so not from this Guru guy, but this Guru guy has become famous because he's in Logan Paul's video, and essentially he's Logan Paul's Pokemon guy. So he's selling a box of first edition Pokemon cards for $375,000 in this video. And the transaction goes, and then suddenly somebody says, hey, let's open the box, which is not what the Guru guy was expecting, because it turns out that he sold them a fake box. So as Pokemon becomes more popular, as magic becomes more popular, you absolutely need to know who you're dealing with. Um, Guru, I believe, has a background in cryptocurrency. He also said that a first edition Bobosaur is worth $30,000, which it is not worth anything close to that amount. But I think he said that to kind of um, make Logan Paul feel better. Because when you say a common card, a lightning bolt is worth thirty thousand dollars, then you'd be like, oh well, I got a light, I got thirty thousand dollar card, but no one is paying that amount. And any logical person who's played Pokemon knows that if anything, it would be the Pikachu or the Charmander would be the most expensive, not the Bulbasaur. So essentially, he takes this box, goes to an investment group. The investment group is not supposed to open the box. Again, the, the box looks perfect. Everyone says the box looks amazing. And what happens is they do something unexpected. They open the box. And you can see how nervous the guy is. His name is Guru. So whenever a guy's name is Guru and he looks like Mr. Clean, uh, do not trust him. He's going to sell you a fake box. And it's $375,000 for this box. Let me repeat this again. The, the briefcase on the table is cash. They have $3,075,000 cash. They bought the box. They opened the box. The box was resealed in 2020 because some of the cards have 2020 printed. So the story was someone had purchased this uh, box from a game store. The free boxes from a game store. They left it in their safety, uh, in a, a safety bank, and then they sold one. They kept two. They sold one to this guy who's bold in the background making the urgent phone call, and the boxes have never been taken out otherwise, so there is a chain of custody. However, that cannot be true because the box was resealed with cards printed in 2020. So at the very minimal, we know that the energy cards, which were printed in 2020, had to be put there into the box um, sometime this year. So when you're buying Magic the Gathering expensive boxes, when you're buying Pokemon expensive boxes, I want you guys to remember this video because selling boxes is not easy because the boxes... For instance, you have many Pokemon experts here. You have many millionaires. You have Logan Paul's Pokemon guys, the ones applying the box. And he cannot figure out that this box is tampered with. Because, you know, no one knows the box is tampered with. And that is crazy. And this should tell you why you should not invest in Arabian Night boxes. This is not... I mean, as boxes get more and more expensive, people are going to open them and then reseal them. And you need to buy from a source that will immediately refund you. But at the same time, there, there's this issue, right? The issue is for $400,000, what would someone do to cheat, lie, and steal $400,000? A lot. $400,000 is a lot of money. Now, alpha starters, beta starters, Arabian Nights boxes, legend boxes, I mean... It is what it is, so I don't want to just say that this kind of sucks for everyone, but it really does suck for everyone. Um, but at the same time, it's something that you should be aware of, and this is why I don't like selling old boxes. 
everyone's saying, oh, buy old boxes, you'll make a bunch of money. Buy old boxes, you'll make a bunch of money. But there's a danger. You pay $400,000 for a resealed box in Pokemon. We, I just saw this happen right now. It happened right now. And there is a danger in Magic the Gathering for this happening as well. So, you know, a lot of times people will talk about, oh, invest in old boxes. How do you know the old box you invested in is real and not resealed? Because this box, you have, look at how this is being live streamed. There's so many people. There's some Pokemon experts there. The guy who's selling it to you is Logan Paul's Pokemon expert. His name is Guru. Then there's like this Asian dude who is like, you know, really sketchy as blank. Uh, I mean, just the act. And, and again, luckily they sold to someone who said, you know what? We're going to open up the box before we give you money. Is that okay? If the box is legitimate, we'll give you the money. And I guarantee you they were, they pooped the pants. The sellers of this box, they pooped their pants. And it's kind of funny to look at uh, because you could see like their tone and their voice start cracking when it was like, all right, um, cool. Thanks for selling the box. Uh, do you mind if we open it? No, go for it. Oh, crap. Um, again, the guy selling the box and his group, uh, they do a lot of cryptocurrency investment. They're, you know, get rich quick schemes. It's just bad, you know, it's bad. Um, it is what it is, but at the same time, you know, I do want you guys to be aware that if you buy an old magic box or an old Pokemon box, everything on the front of the box can look 100% okay. That doesn't mean it is. And then 20 years down the road, tw uh, you open the box and you realize it's fake. Or the worst case is if you sell to someone, um, if you sell to someone, so that 35K box is now worth zero. So how long does that fit into long-term investing taking a $375,000 loss? If this person's portfolio climbed 3.75 million over 20 years. So again, there is this additional danger. This isn't stocks, this isn't bonds, this isn't even a CD. There is additional danger like that this box is resealed. So after people see this uh, with Pokemon for Yu-Gi-Oh, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, First Edition ads, um, once people see this, I think they're going to change their mind. I think they're going to change their mind on whether or not investing in boxes is a good idea. So Gary Vaynerchuk and everyone I spoke so high of, I mean, the thing is, for modern modern boxes, um, maybe it's okay because again, the it's not four hundred thousand dollars. But for Arabian Nights, from for Arabian Nights, for Legends, like it does not make sense in my opinion to buy those boxes unless you are a legit expert, and you have even a whole room of experts did not realize they bought a fake box. Again, this is the most scrutinized box, right? Of all boxes. First of this in Pokemon base right now. Of all boxes, it's a $400,000 box. And yet no one identified it was fake until it was opened and clearly it was fake and resealed. So it's a fascinating video because... It it just shows you the danger of investing in sealed boxes. I have never been a huge fan of it. Now I have been the recipient recipient of like you know the upswing of Pokemon. And I'll be honest, I I feel great about that. But I know where I sourced it from, and I know like it's the same thing with the um when you buy like when you watch these YouTube videos about the person who bought paid twenty dollars for a binder of like five hundred dual lands. Or 500 fetch lands. It's like no. At any point in time. These people know that fetch lands is valuable. They're not going to sell you a binder for $20. It makes no sense. 
But if you found like a Mirage reserve list card that used to be five cents and then suddenly becomes $10 or $15, like debt of loyalty, for instance, I can believe that. That makes sense to me and that's happened to me before. What I have yet to find is a box of Shocklands that someone wants to sell for $10. Because at any time, the person can go to the store they're playing and trade in a Shockland for like a Snickers bar or a candy or for something. But I can understand why Mirage's bulk rare at the time would then spike up in price and then people forgot about it. Like that one pirate card from Mirage.